Hello, hello, and welcome to the right vibe at the right time, man. You know it's coming to you all live. Coming to you straight from Wildcat Studios, thanks to our great friends Wildcat Guitars and James Hood Guitar Repair. Ladies and gentlemen, Wildcat Studios is proud to present the Cedar Shakers, and they'll be coming to you in just a few moments, so stay tuned. Cedar Shakers.
so much. Uh, like I said, we're the Cedar Shakers. It's good to uh, have everything working. Got to get the kinks out on that first one. Uh, we're new to this, so it's totally our uh, new vibes. But um, this is so fun here at Wildcat Guitar. Uh, this next song we're going to play is called Night Train. I'm going to switch guitars. Like I said, this song's called Night Train. It's written by uh, the guy to my left, Craig Sturak, over here on the guitar. And uh, so check it out. Yeah. 
Thanks so much. Night Train. Um, this next song, I got to switch guitars again, but hope you guys are doing well. I hope uh, whatever you're doing is safe. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, but or you're good. Um, so I wish I could be there with you, but I'm, I'm busy right now. But. And I just hope Kaylin leaves the guitar plugged in. Yeah, well, that's the surprise. If I leave the guitar plugged in, then we all get to song um which would be important this song is a song we released on last friday it's called pine valley it's one of uh, uh many songs we recorded over the the last covid period um so we've got like eight songs to share with you um and this first one was written a couple of years ago um i was in the area of pine valley if you don't know like up near Julian in that area of like San Diego County, there's like Pine Valley and like we went up uh, and did some sledding and stuff. And so Pine Valley was just kind of written after that experience. And um, you know, just when, when life uh, gets crazy in the city and you just need to bug out, I kind of like think about this song. So that's kind of the, the idea behind it. But anyways, uh, it's called Pine Valley, cheers. Bye. 
It's perfection on Spotify. <laughs> Two out of three. Yeah. Right. Oh. Cool. yeah. Um, eight or so. Uh, just a second. So uh, this next song is pretty old, but um, we recorded it over the COVID series. Um, it was actually the first batch of stuff that we recorded. And uh, so stoked because, um, once again, Craig wrote it, but... Um, it has um, origins with his uh, grandma, and so um, it's kind of a cool story within um, our our realm. And um, the song is just kind of fun, so um, hope you like it. It's called Ada's Song.
always get going to warp speed on the end of that one. That's a lot of fun. Ah. Man, we got a lot of space to stretch out. Usually we're in uh, Craig's garage, so I can uh, you know, not touch the walls with both hands kind of thing. This is a nice place. This is super, super awesome. Thanks so much for Wildcat Guitars for having us. Um, once again, we're Cedar Shakers. And uh, next song, it's going to be called Whispers. There's an ongoing struggle of what kind of strap position our shared instruments need to have. And Craig uh, is from, I think, like a punk uh, early 80s era where you, you know, play the, the <laughs> instrument down at your ankles. Wow. Uh, and uh, I am a more of a classically trained. No, yeah. uh, no, yeah. <laughs> so. Wow. <laughs> that was a solid age shot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, classically, pretty old, you know. <laughs> Uh, anyways, this song. <laughs> this next song is called Whispers. Will you 
Anybody out there that's a Grateful Dead fan, this might be a song for you. Changing the uh, position of the strap because somebody in the band doesn't play ball. This is called I Know You're Right.
Thank you so much. That's uh, Know Your Rider. Uh, not our song, but a good one. <laughs> now to our song. Uh, it's a new song um, that we're going to release later. It's a song called Coffee. Um, maybe in the comment section or something, if you're drinking coffee, put the emoji. There. say there's nothing to reinforce how socially awkward you realize you are <laughs> standing up here just talking to nobody <laughs> yeah luckily I uh, grew up like on an isolated farm in southwest <laughs> Kansas and I talked to myself all the time so this is nothing new I just now have a stick in my face but I talk to myself all the time it's very normal in the third person and very very positively. Kaylin's pretty awesome. Anyways, uh, what were we doing? Yeah, we were playing uh, Coffee. So this is that song. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Copy. Three cups at least before nine. If anybody does better than that, you got to comment two coffees in the comment section. I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, next song is Peaceful Way. This is, uh, this, is, this is a different song for us. I hope you like it. It's really one of my favorites. Um, we wrote it last summer. And uh, so...
Thanks so much. Man, this has been so much fun. Uh, we got a couple more for you. Um, like I said, that one was called Peaceful Way. Um, the next one is called Riding on the Wind, and I'm going to play bass. songs written by Craig. Once again, uh, a great storyteller. Uh, one of my favorite songs. I always begged him to record the song, and we got to do it over the break. So, well, thanks to me, you get to hear it. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's called Riding on the Wind. Thank you. 
Now we're at the end. Uh, this next song that we're gonna about to play, we get to release on Spotify and all the other streaming places. Just, I mean, if you can find a bootleg, that's fine too. Let us know. Comment in the sections below your double coffee mark um, that we want to know where you can find us. But yeah, anywhere online. This next song is called Revolver. Not my revolver, as someone once said, who looks and sounds a lot like me. But the mandolinist won't have it. So we're going to keep it as is. Revolver, it's cleaner. We should thank the Wildcat guitar folks again. Thank you guys so much for having us. It's a Absolutely. Great time. If you're a local band, you get the invite to do this. Here's the endorsement. Don't miss it. Come do it. It's a great night. It's a great time. Great people. Thanks so much for having us. Cheers. Yeah. Good stuff. I agree. <laughs> and over here we have uh, Mike's and Dayhouse over on the mandolin. I haven't introduced him, but man, a few words. <laughs> The man who gets the uh, cup holder, apparently in the band. So Craig and I won't forget. That's right. There's a lot of drama in this band. Follow us on Instagram and our website, cedarshakers.com. You can check us out there. This last song is called Revolver. Do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. Let's get it over. Or get out my way. I don't think you want to be. with the Cedar Shakers. See you next time.
the shakers just killed it just like we all knew they would i mean i did i've been looking forward to you guys coming here for a while <laughs> as well, i'm always looking forward to the bands that come in here though really we do a lot of hard work uh looking up you guys and all the bands that come in here and we're just happy you guys respond and are excited to work with us too so first off thank you guys for being here so much we really appreciate yeah. it Thanks for having us. Thank if you. you guys missed the show Lucky thing is you can just go back and watch it again. YouTube, Wildcat Guitars, go over there and check it out. Again, we're here with the Cedar Shakers who just murdered it on stage. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, for a trio, no drums, <laughs> just great vocals, great music, and, man, you guys killed it. That was awesome. Thanks, that man. Was Thank you awesome. very much. So cheers to you all. Yeah, I mean, cheers. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, cheers all around, boys. <laughs> So let's start this off. We'll start right here next to me. Where are you from, brother? San Diego. That's Where right. Yep. On the playgrounds where you spent most of your days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so San Diego. Yeah, huh? So yeah. we got one local in the, in the building. Huh? Yeah. We got another one? We got another one? Uh, I am from a small town called San Jacinto, California. Oh, right next to a slightly larger town called Hemet, California. Oh, yeah, that Hemet. A lot of people like to call it Hemeth. <laughs> Shout out, Hemet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and right down, lead vocalist, brother. Out of state guy. I'm about to say, I don't think he's local. No, no. Long hair will fool you. I'm from Kansas. Yeah, uh, Southwest Kansas, middle of nowhere. Maybe like liberal Dodge City kind of area. And how long have you been out here? Uh, like about two, 15 years. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, so like you local by now. You're yeah, local by now. I feel now. like I'm trying to. Horn in on the localness, yeah. Any desires to move back? Are you no, out hell, here? No, no. <laughs> Kansas, huh? <laughs> What's that? Dorothy and Toto, right? Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right, at least Tech Nine. I mean, you got great music out hey, there. Tech Nine. Yeah, Tech Nine. Yeah, yeah. Great music. <laughs> So man, well, again, uh, you guys killed it, Thanks. but uh, how long have you been playing? Uh, we came together, the three of us with a few others, in about 2017. Mm. And we've been, so about, we're in our fourth year now, and uh, yeah, we came together. and That's so awesome. pretty like a slow burn. Yeah. Uh, we didn't play a whole lot in our first couple of years. We just kind of like found ourselves musically, and um, we started recording more in the last like two years, and so it's picked oh, up nice. steam. Like over COVID, yeah. we recorded twice actually. Yeah. Spent a so lot of time we had two songs. different different uh, yeah. recording oh, projects. I mean, what else could you do during COVID? We right? had to stay busy, yeah. or else go insane. <laughs> that's I think that's all musicians. I think a lot of albums were written in this past yeah. year. You know. <laughs> So, I mean, we're going to get good music out of it, I believe. I one so way or another, yeah, you know I think what it's mean? a good look at it. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of writing time. Mm. So, you guys have been playing together? Is this the meat of the group? you have any more members? Or is this just... This is how you've been you three for the past four years, getting after it. You know, we also have a couple other members. Um, you know, I'll let you guys... Uh, we've got another drummer, actually, that's still in the States. Uh, mm. He's in another project that I play in called Thunder Beast. And he nice. drums with us. He plays some percussion, and he's he's great. Um, we've played with him at the Holding Company recently um, mm -hmm. with the Coral Bells in a really fun show. Wow. And uh, we're gonna play again um, this December in uh, at Winston's down mm -hmm. in Ocean yeah. Beach. Mm -hmm. So he'll join us, I think, for that um, and and for other shows. And so he's kind of a member. But we've also got another guy that uh, I like to let you guys talk about. Yeah. Yeah, we can we can go it. Most we got at any time is six. We mm. sometimes run. We got a regular fiddle player, 
sometimes run with a banjo player, then three of us, and then a drummer. So really, it depends on on the show and what we're doing on our recordings that we're getting ready to release. It's a full band mm. with all six, and then some shows we go bigger, and there some we kind of scale yeah. it down to a trio. So it's a good right, time. as long as you're still playing, right? right? right. <laughs> well, these are the three that rehearse every week and drink beer together. There you <laughs> go. Everything there we go. This is the everything else is perfect. Yeah. That's <laughs> perfect. Shout out to Freed. And, right. uh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, don't want to forget the other band members. Yeah, yeah, Maybe exactly. we'll get you all back here again one day. Uh, yeah, think about it. New music's always mm-hmm. coming out, you know? Absolutely. That's right. That's right. So I saw you guys doing a bunch of instrument changing. <laughs> yeah. Goddamn, yeah. what kind of setup you got down there? Yeah, uh, well, um, you know, I'm I'm playing um, a Hofner bass, mm. and so Craig and I are sharing that. Um, we also interchange our guitars and stuff, um, but uh, whose guitar is better? Oh, his. his, his. <laughs> Mine, uh, I have to say, is missing bindings right now. Oh. After the third time of trying to glue them on, it's like I, I travel back and forth between mm-hmm. Kansas, and I think that weather is just so hard, and it's like they just fall off, and so now it's just like oh, yeah. tape and like well, luck if- that the, the guitar <laughs> is together right now. Well, um, if you ever yeah. need help fixing it, James said <laughs> guitar. Right? Yeah, right. yeah, he's going to you know leave, it it leave it here. Leaving it here. We'll definitely hook yeah. you up. And so you got your basic guitar. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Just yeah. killing it, man. Sounds great. Yeah, man. And you. I, I play a, uh, a Michael Kelly mandolin, which uh, I bought at Buffalo Brothers. Oh, it was shout out. The grandpa mm-hmm. of. Uh, James Hood, and, yeah, yeah, uh, Wildcat maybe, and it's a great place. Yeah, it was just like mm. walking into heaven essentially totally. in its heyday. <laughs> it's two levels of just yeah. gorgeous instruments that people would go in and play, and probably didn't buy often enough. So that's probably why things turned out how yeah. they did. But I bought mine. You know, <laughs> there I, you I go. We got somebody. <laughs> and uh, J- James has been my tech for all my instruments for a long time. So James is the I, man. I, I think it's really cool that y'all are like kind of connected there because I. I'm We're trying to build a one-stop shop. Yeah, here, he, you know he's what I mean? uh, lovingly cared for all of my yes, instruments. Yes, definitely, so definitely. Awesome. He definitely takes his work seriously, right. and he puts his heart and soul in everything he does. So, yeah. shout out James for guitar. Yeah. Nice. He's the man. That's it's always great to work with him. Yeah, and what about yeah you, buddy? I'm playing a Taylor 316 uh-huh. CE, and it's a it's a great card, great guitar. Love it. It's been my uh, better than somebody else's. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's great. It's perfect. Uh-huh. It's uh, great for the kind of gigs we're playing and uh yeah love it's been awesome. my the go-to standby guitar so okay. and, you know taylor's local so yeah. it's, it's a good thing so yeah taylor's local love taylor um so if unless you already have it what <laughs> is that your dream guitar or you got some other ones on the mind you still need to get yeah. you know it's funny i'm a you know i love my taylor it's mm. the it's this it's the acoustic that i use but mm-hmm. um i got a soft spot for telecasters so mm. i've got a you got one telly at home that I love, and uh, but um, but you know, they're they're beautiful guitars. So no. yeah, talk about dream Can't guitars. Yeah, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. You see a lot of Telecasters. That, that's so. true. That's very right, true. Right. Right. Well, that, do you have your? Are you going to need to upgrade another mandolin? Yeah, or? I, I don't have a dream guitar, but a dream mandolin. Yeah. Um, I don't know. One that stays in tune forever. <laughs> That's probably my dream, man. Good luck with that, bro. One that stays in tune <laughs> and one that never gives feedback. <laughs> Give me that and uh, I'll be happy. Like feedback, I can talk to you. It's like, hey, you missed that note. All right, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I have enough of that like, going on. Up here. I don't need my mandolin. <laughs> What about you, brother? Oh, you know, I would love, like, a real Gibson Les Paul. I, one I think that I, doesn't have tape? Yeah, one that doesn't have tape. One that doesn't say hammer on it. Uh, you know, like, uh, yeah, I'd like a uh, traditional, you know, that black on black would be great. Mm. Or a gold body would just be so beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, gold body, yeah, right? Uh, so, yeah, I'd like the Gibson Les Paul. That'd be fun. If you're ever looking, you know where to come. Wildcat Guitars always got great selection. Yeah, always nice. got a plug there. <laughs> so you guys got any new... I know we got to hear some new tunes come out, but you got any new music that you're going to be letting out anytime soon? Or? Yes, we, yeah. um, we're we releasing two songs right now um, in the midst of it. So last Friday, we released Pine Valley. Um, that's a song that you can find on Spotify on a few playlists that have been kind of picked up lately. It's been fun. And um, we're releasing Revolver, the last song that we mm. played for the show, um, which is more of an up-tempo thing. 
And um, it's just like a really fun release, but uh, just the start of like the eight songs that we've got to share with the rest of this uh, year. So October, November, uh, December, those are the months, right? Yeah, um, are, are going to be full of songs <laughs> that we can release that it's going to be fun to like kind of get out there. We have four songs on Spotify right now, so it'll be nice to kind of like add, you know, to a substantial repertoire yeah. that we mm -hmm. have. We've had these songs for a while, but we're now yeah. we're kind of finally releasing them due to the releasing of right. like, the pandemic. So yeah. good to know we can find all your music. Well, everything you have released so far, mm -hmm. we can find on Spotify, yeah, exactly. Apple right. Music, sure. all the same mm -hmm. thing with like your uh, social medias. Are you yep. on Facebook, Instagram? Yeah, we got you Facebook. Tweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean Facebook is there, but uh, we're, we're usually uh, right. more active on Instagram. Uh, I mean, if you can call it active. Website. Yeah. Well, we're getting active now that we have stuff to post. Yeah. I mean, we were quiet for a while. Yeah. But, yeah, that's our main um, ID. But, like, our website, seedofshakers.com, has quite a bit of stuff that you can yeah. check, like some cool, like, old, um, you know, clips and songs that we don't play now, I think. Even. Right. Yeah. But... Well, yeah. you weren't quiet enough because I found you. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, even yeah. though I still found you. Yeah. Yeah. Really happy Great. you guys uh, responded so to. Fun. Oh, it's always much love, too. We really try to make everybody feel comfortable when they come over here. And, you know, so just the yeah. fact that you guys come and you're all so cool and just. You appreciate what we're doing, and we really appreciate uh, just giving us your time and everything, too. Really appreciate you guys coming out here. Right awesome. Thanks um, for Do us. you have anything else you would like to plug before we end out? You know, new shows coming out, anything like that? Yeah, well, I mean, we got a show in December at Winston's, um, yeah. so that'll 16th. be the next thing, December 16th. So if you want to give yourself a uh, early Christmas present, that is what I recommend. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah we're gonna be opening for Whiskerman. Yeah, for Whiskerman, uh, Winston's and Ocean Beach. So it's yeah. gonna be good. So make sure you look out mm -hmm. for that, cause that will be obviously be a good show. Mm -hmm. yeah. Will it be the three of you, or will you be having more uh, members? We'll also? we'll try to rope in. That some one's gonna be people. expanded. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have fuller band for that one yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah. Go. I'm gonna get full band. Well, awesome, yeah. you guys, you killed it. Thank you so much for coming out and blessing their stage with your talent because that was awesome. Hopefully we'll get you guys out here again. Okay. Again, if it. anyone watching this interview didn't get a chance to see the show, you can go back and watch it on YouTube right now. So, yep. until next time, boys. Yay! Yes. Yes. How are you doing? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>